Welcome to week seven, where we will be talking more about compliance, as well as annual audits and monitoring visits. Okay, I admit this doesn't sound like the most exciting topic. If I'm being honest, it really isn't. However, it is very important within the context of grant management practices, and there are tasks and tools to put in place to make sure this process is easier for you and your organization as you implement and manage a grant funded project. Readings this week include chapter six in the course text and assignments comprise of a discussion forum, quiz, and assignment number seven, where you will draft a plan for a site monitoring visit. We have talked a bit about grant compliance in the last couple of weeks in regard to private and publicly funded projects and how the completion of required reporting is a form of grant compliance. In general, to maintain grant compliance, organizations must adhere to the terms, conditions, rules, regulations, and reporting requirements associated with receiving and managing a grant. When an organization or individual receives a grant award, they must follow specific guidelines and obligations to ensure that these funds are used appropriately and effectively. Grant compliance is essential to maintain transparency. We talked about the concept of transparency last week when exploring grant reports. Maintaining transparency allows the grantor and possibly others to see grantees work and progress. Grant compliance activities also ensure accountability of the grantee, that they are doing what they are supposed to be doing. It helps ensure that the intended goals and outcomes of the grant projects are achieved and that the funds are used for their intended purpose. Maintaining compliance also supports trust between the grantor and the grantee. Trust between parties supports better communication, comprehensive support, and leads to long-term relationships. Grant compliance is not just completing reports and managing a budget, albeit these are both parts of the grant management process that require work to stay compliant with guidelines. We have already discussed how the proper budget management will ensure that grant funds are utilized in accordance with, with the approved budget and that expenses are eligible and reasonable. While regular progress and financial reporting will help show the progress of your project and other deliverables as outlined in the grant agreement. In addition, fulfilling the specific objectives and deliverables outlined in the grant proposal or agreement such as completing research, implementing projects, or conducting educational programs is part of maintaining compliance, essentially doing what you said you were going to be doing in the proposal that was approved by the funder. Maintaining accurate and comprehensive records of all activities related to the grant, including financial transactions, receipts, and supporting documentation will help keep entities organized and maintain the ability to show the funder or others that your organization is or others that your organization is doing the work and that you know what you're doing. This ties back to the importance of maintaining a complete and comprehensive grant file. Compliance also requires that projects and programs adhere to all applicable laws, regulations, and policies related to the grant and the organization's operations. Many times a grant agreement will outline specific laws or guidelines the grantee must comply with. It is the responsibility of the grantee to understand what these are and to make sure that their organization is adhering, is adhering to or meeting these guidelines. Almost all grant funded programs will be awarded with a specific project period. Completing project activities within the project period outlined in the grant agreement is another form of compliance. Grantees must implement and complete the project within the allowed timeframe. To maintain compliance, grantees must understand the project period for their award and ensure all project activities take place within this period. So what happens if your project does not comply with a grant requirement or multiple guidelines? What happens if a project misuses grant funds or project activities result in a questionable conflict of interest issue? The response or consequence may be a minor redirection directly from the grantor, 
This could be a letter or email identifying the noncompliance and requesting action to correct the issue. This could also result, result in additional progress or financial report requirements or more frequent monitoring visits. Noncompliance can also result in more serious consequences. For example, if a grantee expends funds on unallowable expenses, they may be required to repay the grant funds. If a grantee is not compliant with completing deliverables such as reporting, or the grantee has not implemented any of the project tasks, the grant agreement may need to be terminated. In extreme cases, grantees could face legal issues if project activities violate current laws or grant funds were used for illegal purposes. Any type of noncompliance issue can put the organization in jeopardy of receiving future grant funds from the current grantor or other funders. If a funder cannot trust a grantee to maintain compliance, future funding is a risk that many funders will not take, and understandably so. To maintain grant compliance, grantees should put in place procedures and checks to make sure the project activities are being implemented as designed and within project guidelines. Part of these procedures can include the grant task calendar that was developed at the beginning of the project, maintaining complete grant files, on-time reporting, and honest communication with grantees. Many organizations are required to complete an annual financial audit. A financial audit is an examination of an organization's financial records. Auditors review organizations' financial transactions and statements to determine if the organization's financial records are accurate. An audit also looks at the procedures and practices the organization has in place and how they align with standard accounting practices, all in an effort to support responsible fiscal management. Almost all organizations, including tribal entities and governments, who receive grant funds will conduct a financial audit. This is often completed on an annual basis, but the frequency also depends on the size of the organization and the total amount of grant funds received. Outlined in 2 CFR Part 200, Subpart F of the OMB's Uniform Guidance, introduced in Week 5, we, we see specific audit requirements for entities who receive federal grant funds. This requirement states recipients who expend $750,000 or more in federal funds in a year are required to complete an annual audit. This is called a single audit and is more detailed than a regular independent audit. An audit should be conducted by professionals certified to complete this process. So what exactly does an auditor or a team of auditors review during their financial audit process? Auditors will review a number of financial documents and reports, as well as procedures in place to support strong internal control systems. Internal control practices help ensure the accuracy of financial reporting and help maintain compliance with rules and regulations, such as the implementation of accounting standards. Internal controls put in place a standard process and procedure for financial transactions ensuring oversight and checks and balances along the way. An audit team will likely request to review various financial statements from the organization, such as the balance sheet that shows the organization's assets and li liabilities. Assets and liabilities are what the organization owns and owes. Additional financial records may be reviewed to include income statements that show the organization's profit and loss over a certain period of time, in the cash flow statement that reports the cash generated and spent during a specific period of time. These standard financial statements help to show the financial status of the organization and highlight areas that can be improved. Auditors will look at accounting records such as the general ledger to review if transactions are filed correctly. Supporting documentation for financial transactions such as invoices, receipts, and contracts should also be available for review. All of these documents together help to show auditors that the grantee has reliable financial practices in place. 
Once an audit team has completed their review, they will draft and share a full audit report. This report will provide a professional opinion of the organization's financial status. Financial audits are a tool used to encourage and check grant project compliance, and in many cases help grantee organizations strengthen financial systems. Does the preparation for an annual audit fall to the grant program director or principal investigator? No, not solely. Usually this is led by the finance or accounting department within your organization, but preparation often requires input from multiple departments. Preparing for an annual single audit is essential to ensure a smooth and successful audit process. To start, organizations will gather documentation such as financial records and other financial documents that we just talked about, as well as additional relevant supporting documents, including grant agreements and other grant correspondence. The audit team will tell you what they want prepared or what they need in their review. Organizations can also review their internal control procedures in, in prep for a single audit to make sure the procedures are in place, are clearly documented, and comply with relevant accounting standards, the Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, or GAAP. Grantees will also communicate with the audit team from the beginning to the end of the process. In most cases, the audit team is not scary and works with organizations and grantees to strengthen internal controls and help organizations build a solid financial infrastructure. Some grant funders will conduct on-site monitoring visits to their grantees. A grant monitoring site visit is a visit to assess the progress and compliance of the funded project or program. This is another activity of grant management. At a typical monitoring visit, the grantor will evaluate whether the grantee is meeting the objectives and deliverables outlined in the grant proposal or agreement. The site visit provides an opportunity to assess the quality and effectiveness of the project or program while on site so they can see the project or program firsthand. A monitoring visit will likely include a financial review that will examine the grantee's financial records to ensure that the grant funds are being used appropriately in accordance with the approved budget and in compliance with any financial reporting requirements as well as a check to verify the grantee is adhering to all the terms, conditions, and rules associated with the grant. During a grant monitoring site visit, representatives from the grantee granting organization, such as uh, program officers or evaluators, will meet with key personnel from the grantee's organization. Grantors may ask questions, review documents, interview project staff, and observe project activities as they take place. Site visits can serve as a platform for the grantor to offer guidance, technical assistance, and support to the grant recipient. Monitoring visits can help address any challenges or issues encountered during the project and foster a stronger partnership between the grantor and the grantee. The site visit process will often highlight the project's strengths and weaknesses. This will provide an opportunity for grantors to offer suggestions to address identified weaknesses and to celebrate the strengths and accomplishments of the project. The site visit process also further supports a transparent relationship between the grantor and the grantee. It builds ongoing rapport and opens additional lines of communication that assist in the overall grant man management of grant funded programs.